Hey there, so in front of me I have my Samsung Galaxy S7 phone. This phone is the SMG930F, which is the international variant of the Galaxy S7. It runs the Exynos processor and it's fully unlocked for use on any carrier around the world. So you can see here that my phone is entirely a stock device. Um, it's not rooted. Nox is not tripped. Whenever you install aftermarket ROM onto these phones, it trips Nox and this device is still entirely official status. I'm running the stock version of the operating system 6.01 and I have the December security patches and like I said this phone's not rooted so this is just bone stock. But the one thing is when you buy these since they come from other countries you always have slight differences with the phones based on the country it was originally sold. So this phone here as you can see in the about device is United Arab Emirates device. Now what determines that is something called the CSC on Samsung phones and I can't remember what that stands for, carrier specific capabilities maybe, basically customizes the ROM in very small ways just to customize it for that market. But I'm having a problem with this phone and I'm not sure if it's related to the CSC uh, customization for the United Arab Emirates or what. It has to do with the alarms. If I set an alarm and the phone is not on sound mode, so it's on silent or vibrate. And I'm not talking about do not disturb, I'm just talking about the actual sound mode is on vibrate, kind of like it is right now. The alarm doesn't work, it doesn't sound at all. I've had a few friends try with their Galaxy S7 phones and theirs do not have the same problem. One of my friends has an S7 International, just like mine. His is not from the United Arab Emirates, it's actually from another Arabic country. I can't remember which one it is. Um, but his works fine, but mine doesn't. And let me show you exactly what's happening here. If I have the alarm set to go off, even with sound, so here's an alarm set right now, and you can see morning flower, uh, alarm name, you know, it's the sound is on, everything is fine, set for one minute. If the phone, if the phone is on normal sound mode, like it will make ringtones and things, it will work, the alarms work fine. Even if I have it on Do Not Disturb, the alarm still goes off normally. But the problem I'm having is if the phone is on vibrate or, or silent mode, you know, where it doesn't even vibrate, the alarm doesn't work at all. And I'll show you exactly what that does. So this is gonna be the alarm that's gonna go off uh, with the sound mode on and Do Not Disturb is turned off and you will see it will work. All right, so. There's the normal alarm going off, no problem. So we'll stop that. And I'll set the alarm for one minute from now. So one minute from now, and I'm gonna go and I'm going to put the phone on vibrate. Okay, so it just vibrated in my hand. And let's see what happens. So the alarm is going off right now, but as you can see, there's no sound whatsoever and there's no vibrating, there's no, there's no nothing happening. Uh, take my word for it that if I have the phone on um, mute, it's the same problem as well. It only works when it's on sound mode. If, and we can go look in the alarm here, and as you can see, there's, there's volume here, and I can adjust that, and I can you know, look alarm type, sound, sound and vibrate. Even though I can adjust the volume here, if I push the volume key, look, it says ringtone is silent, but look, of alarm volume has this the little line through it. And normally if you push on the speaker icon like I'm doing there, it, it mutes and unmutes. And the equivalent is if I push on the ringtone one, see, now I can mute and unmute the alarm. But if I put the phone back on to vibrate, that button doesn't do anything. I mean, it still has the little shape that's doing. And if I move this, it, look how it kind of jumps back. So, and it's the same. Yeah, so when I asked my friends who have Galaxy S7 phones to check this, my friend with the international phone has the same ability to, to drop this down, but his works perfectly. His default is the alarm is not silenced while the phone's in vibrate or mute. That's the problem I'm having. I'm not sure what's going on here, 
but it's frustrating as heck and I'm gonna try a few things to see if I can fix this. Initially, I thought maybe this was something to do with the CSC, maybe for Arabic countries. Um, they have a different functionality that where the, if the phone is muted, then it won't ring the alarms through. But then when my friend who has the international version and his is also from one of the Middle Eastern countries, absolutely works normally, that kind of threw out that theory. In the sound settings, there is nothing in here about setting up um, the alarm volume. It just does not show up anywhere within settings here. And that's it. Nothing's in here. Sound mode has the usual three modes as well. In the do not disturb area in the settings, it does have some information here. So you can turn do not disturb on and off here, which is the same as toggling it from there. And then in the exceptions area, I actually keep it on custom and I make sure that alarm is enabled in here. So that's always turned on and I have the repeat callers and then I allow favorite contacts to actually ring through my do not disturb. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factory default the phone and I'm gonna see if this behavior is fixed. All right, so I'm doing the factory default on my S7 uh, right now. It's funny because it says installing system update. Oh, now it says erasing, okay, that was weird. All right, so freshly reset phone. Okay, so I just set the phone up. That's typical sound mode. All right, working as it's supposed to. One minute from now and we'll change this to vibrate. Well, so there we go. Even though I'm in vibrate mode, clearly this is working now. All right, so if I push the up and down arrow, yep. So you can see that this is now working normally, even though uh, the phone is in. So something was somehow corrupted on my phone, I guess, um, and the factory default fixed it. All right, so about to flash uh, Android 7 onto here. So on uh, these Galaxy S7 phones, you turn the phone off and then go into the install mode, you volume down, power, and uh, the home button all at the same time, you get into this mode right here. And I am not installing custom OS. This is gonna be totally stock. You push the volume up to continue. And then downloading, we're in uh, Odin mode. Faplock system status official. The flashing is happening right now. It's flashing the system. So I'm assuming it's finished. Uh, it says succeeded one and pass and everything looks good here. Well, look at that. There's my S7. Looks totally different now. Running the uh, Nougat, Nougat version of Android. All right, so we have the phone here set up with Android Nougat. It's still set up all my applications and stuff, so it's going to take some time to reinstall everything, but Let's just give the clock a quick test right now. I save, set for one minute from now. All right, looks a little different, but that's working fine. Let's set it for 212. Save, okay, one minute from now. And let's turn off the sound. Okay, so it's on vibrate. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, this has no sound right now. It's not working. Um, one thing I did is in Samsung's um, menus, you go under account, there's actually a backup functionality. So I backed up certain things like my phone and my messaging and the settings app. I backed those up because I figured it would restore my ringtones and some of the other settings and stuff. Well, I am only guessing that restoring my settings from my original phone, you know, this, the settings app, restoring all those settings has restored this bug back onto the brand new version of Nougat here which means I'm just gonna have to wipe this phone again and when I restore from the cloud, the Samsung cloud, to not restore the settings. So I've reset the phone uh, again. And this is the restore section of the Samsung tool. So once you log into your Samsung account, 
the previous time when I showed you it not working on Nougat with the alarm, you know, my problem happening again, I had restored all three of these. So I'm going to do this again and I'm not going to restore settings. I'm grasping at straws, but I'm going to do it this way and see what happens. All right, a little progress. So I've reset my phone a couple times now. So at this point, I have just my Samsung account on here and uh, with the phone on silent, uh, it absolutely works. But last time I restored my Samsung account, I added the Samsung account, I restored my phone logs and my messaging, but not my settings. And then I re connected to my Google account and restored the settings from that. And then it installed, you know, a handful of my apps and then the alarm stopped working. So some kind of app or something from my Google account is causing the problem. But right now it's working both, prob both ways. So now I'm going to add my Google account back in and I will then test and make sure that it's, you know, working without restoring anything from my Google account. And then I'm going to just manually reinstall all my apps from the uh, Google Play. Well, I'm back in business. So I am fully operational. I have all my apps installed on the phone here. I have a working alarm. And what was the secret? Well, whatever was wrong with my phone initially, had to do with a setting. And for some reason, if I reset my phone, whether I was on 6.01 or 7.0 with this Samsung, and I restored my Google account with all the settings, you know when you do the setup wizard, it asks, uh, do you want to restore your apps and some settings from a previous phone? And it lists a couple phones. If I picked this phone, uh, my Galaxy S7, as the restore image, with 152 or some apps, it would immediately not work. So what happens is you pick that, you go through the rest of the setup wizard, and then it starts installing your apps. Well, even after a few apps were installed, I tested the alarm, didn't work, would fail immediately. Because I had tried restoring my Samsung settings, I thought that was the problem, but I reset the phone again, and without the Samsung settings, but just restoring my Google account, it would immediately stop working the alarm would not work. So what I had to do is I basically restored my phone, for, you know, I reset it to defaults, I did restore my Samsung settings, then I did not add my Google account from the setup wizard, I waited until the setup was complete, then I added my Google account. And when you add it from the settings and the old accounts you add it there, it doesn't restore your apps. It only does that during the setup wizard. So I just had that, and then I went through my Google Play and I just reinstalled all my apps. But now that everything's reinstalled, just as I had it before, I'm fully operational. So what caused my problem? I actually don't know. But whatever it was, was somehow associated with my account and restoring the phone breaks it. So if you have this issue, reset your phone and do not restore your Google accounts. That's how you fix the problem with the alarm not working on the Galaxy S7. So if you found this helpful in any way, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and feel free to ask questions and definitely subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.